Lord, have mercy. Sometimes it's just too much for one man to bear. utilize a cart. I decided to come up here to Little Beaver and uh, try to get on some of these cart. I come up here yesterday, didn't bring no carp equipment with me, and uh, I've seen a bunch of carp breaking and working out here in the middle on this transition. <music> seconds since I've been to this lake carp fishing and we're in the fall transition so something that a lot of people don't know I don't know if many of you guys know it or not but in areas that allows it these carp will spawn twice a year they'll spawn in the spring and they'll do it again in the fall if the water temperature and the weather allows it now, they done it here last year twice and I missed it but Got about seven hours, and I'm gonna be focusing on these carp. I got some uh, butterscotch grits and some chicken feed. And I'll explain some things as we go along through the day, but in between me waiting on a carp, I'll be bass fishing and trying to catch a trout, whatever else. You know, might catch a few bluegills and try to catch some fish on some live bait. But uh, there's your quick intro update. We'll get back with you as the day progresses. Let's get into this, see if we can't do something. Hey. Fishing. Big fish, big as you. Pretty much everywhere out in front of me here, close, kind of close. That's what I got trash-wise. It's real important. You don't want to fish like this in three foot of grass. Now the Europeans has got rigs for that. That'll float your pickup up over the grass. What you want. You want a good clean rig when you wind it in. That lets you know that your bait's laying in the dirt. Yeah. I Huh? Are you doing any good? Not yet, but you can go from zero to hero by the time you walk 10 foot from <laughs> um, you, uh, do you have any trout here? They start talking in January. Trout season will be January to April. I think it's just a couple bass. Water's super clear. Got me a, uh, a white chatterbait with a Berkeley swim bait on it. A little blue in it. Ain't nothing. It ain't just a little something subtle behind that chatterbait. That's all it is. There's one. That fish hit it on the fall. That fish hit that on the fall. That's a decent bass right there, fellas. I look back up there at my carp rods and that fish hit that on the fall. Stay down. Oh, good looking little bass. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I look back at my carp rods and uh, went to line, winding my slack up and it was going up under the, headed towards the bank. Caught on that chatterbait up here in these pine trees. I'll take it. Thick. Putting on weight for the for the winter. Mm -hmm. 
Finally, guys. Finally. Finally, oh red. Strikes first blood almost every trip. That's like five trips in a row with this red rod right here. That's got the first run. Caught me slipping too, caught me up there on the damn side of a hill moving around my camera. I don't think he's a big one. Yeah, I don't think he's a big one. Oh, shit. My damn net here. I'll say, guys, fishing margins, fishing these margins. You ain't got to throw plumb out in the middle of the damn lake, catch these carp. Where? Get out of there now. He just a little, little pecker head, that's all right. He's a carp. He's a carp, that's what we want. Come here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come here, little buddy. He's a pretty little old fall carp. Why don't you stick that dorsal fin up? That's a mirror carp. That makes it even more special. Wait till you see the scales on this thing. Look like it got leather on them. Come here, buddy. This reel I got right here is probably 60 years old. That's why I have so much luck on it. Whoever had it through the years, blessed it. Cheapest rod and reel I got so one catches the fish. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty mirror there. Ah, come here. There we go. Awesome fish, look at that. Amazing fish, guys.
me getting all them runs on that red rod. I ain't got no runs on these other three. And they're already biting it again. So I'm gonna focus on these two and that one. I got that other one right here with that chicken feed. If it runs off, I'll turn the camera around. Look here. Look here, guys. Here's another one. On that red rod. I must have caught them carp coming up this. That's a big one. That's a big one. I must have caught them carp coming up this alley right here. Because they ain't went no farther than this rod. Come here, turn around, turn around. There he goes, he turned right there. I believe I got him this time. Yeah, that's a good fish, boys. But he does not want to come in. Lord, have mercy. Be close to 20. I think he'll make it. coming out here at Little Beaver like that, you know, to some of you it might get a little old and repetitive. And you know, believe me, it it gets that way for me, but I caught some good carp out of here this spring in that transition. I figured I'd come out here and fish this fall transition. Simple fall carp fishing session at Little Beaver. Uh, when it clouded up, I caught that bass and that was it for them. But uh, I do what I always do. I chummed it up with some chicken feed, some whole kernel corn. Throw them white grits in there and see what happened, guys. I can't complain. I'm super blessed. I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by, watching, subscribing. As soon as this weather turns, we'll climb a tree and see if we can't kill a big buck. Till the next one, we'll holler at you.